Okay, ma. Let's start this uh, session today. Cell scripting. Okay. Why we go for uh, cell, uh, cell scripting? Cell scripting uh, that commands are already there that we can achieve some kind of task. Whereas uh, in cell scripting, we can achieve um, complex task. Okay, for uh, writing complex uh, uh, task, we we need to go for cell scripting. Okay. Okay, small task is nothing but uh, simply if you want to grip any command, grip any word in the files or something, then uh, simple commands are useful. If you want to achieve a very complex uh, task, then you need to go for scripting only. Okay, and the uh, shell, okay, shell scripting. Okay, there are different kinds of shells available in the market. Okay, bash, csh, ksh. Okay, corn shell, C shell, born again shell. Okay, these are called different kinds of shells. There are so many shells available. These three are the popular shells. Okay. Bash shell is widely used in Linux systems. Okay. Okay, this C shell syntax is uh, and usage is very similar to the C programming language. Okay. And corn shell with uh, the based on po6 uh, shell standards. Okay, anyhow, whatever the shell it is, the scripting language, whatever the conditions that is our okay, that is available in the scripting is similar. Okay, the way scripting is similar in all the shells. Okay, may may be based on uh, some different uh, functions will be available in KSH, CSH, some other different than this, bash, some other different than this, okay. Out of 80%, uh, whatever the shell that is available in the market, the scripting will be similar, okay. Let's see some small difference in uh, Linux and Unix. Linux is a open source operating system which is freely available to everyone. That means, um, like Ubuntu, Fedora, or Red Hat, all these kind of uh, Linux flavors, people are using. Okay, these uh, these are open source. Okay, whereas Unix, it is uh, the um, at first it was developed by Bell uh, that AT&T Bell Laboratory, AT&T Labs. Okay, and then IBM, HP, Oracle. Some these people are only using this operating system. Linux is a great demand. Why everyone is using Linux nowadays? Even a school, even a school kid from school kid to a PhD person, people are using Linux for uh, research and everything. Whereas uh, uh, Unix only some. Only some companies uh, they are uh, only may, uh, using Unix, okay. And Linux is a Unix clone. First to operating system is Unix only, whereas Linux is a clone. People copied uh, some code from Unix and then they developed uh, the remaining uh, thing, okay. There are people are developing the remaining thing, but uh, multiple people are uh, uh, developing that Unix system. Okay, whereas the uh, Unix, only some companies, they are, they are doing coding and then for their works only, okay. Linux default shell is bash, whereas uh, Unix, sorry, this is not Linux. Unix default uh, shell is one shell, okay. This is small difference, Unix and uh, Linux. Okay, frequently used commands in scripting okay these are all commands that we used to do uh, regularly in the unix scripting why uh, commands already there uh, unix scripting is there why we need commands no with these commands only we 
uh, while scripting scripting technology scripting technology means it uh, there will be a fuel conditions between any uh, something okay if we also for loop while all kind of uh, statements conditional statements loops arrays all kind of things will come but between that whatever the command uh, commands that these are the commands that we use uh, regularly to achieve some task or complex task okay uh, pre uh, okay for all these uh, commands you can uh, we have the already recorded tutorial that is available in the our same place the uh, youtube videos you can go through that one okay okay and then we will see some uh, some of these uh, commands okay very like we are, i don't want discuss in depth but uh, let's discuss a very brief okay some of the commands okay okay to uh, in the youtube video you can go ahead and then uh, install linux on windows and everything is available you can uh, you can uh, you can do how to install linux on windows uh, how to what is the purpose of ls command pwd mkdr chm body chm body all these commands okay anyhow i am uh, whatever the um, recording video that we will upload in the same youtube channel you can view from there on there also how to install linux and everything everything is available there and each command explanation is also available there okay okay before uh, starting the cell scripting um let's see uh, some uh, let's run these commands okay what are the uh, the basic commands that require cell scripting okay let's start uh, okay i am going to sigwin sigwin is also another tool to um, for learning purpose okay for learning uh, linux commands and then cell scripting okay this uh, this uh, sigwin is very simple to install whereas uh, ubuntu and then uh, uh, virtual box is very complex task but we have created a video you you can follow that uh, video tutorial on the youtube whatever the there in the same channel is available okay i am going opening this uh, sigwin tutorial the uh, terminal sorry yeah this is the linux terminal okay sigwin i'm just uh, listing okay nothing is there okay no i type ls creating a directory empty directory okay whatever the commands we are running the output you can see here on our tutorial i just created a training folder there okay do ls ls hyphen l okay inside uh, I, am, i am in inside training nothing is there okay now okay, i am uh, just uh, let me write a small script okay to proceed further
okay the first dot sh is my first script okay just a simple echo command press escape press i for insert okay can write Okay, first program. I'm just uh, printing the output from the on the screen. Then LSI for help. Okay, first of all, um, what are the ways to run the script? Before running script, what are the main things that we need to consider? First, uh, first more foremost thing is first one is before running the Linux. Uh, uh, scripting using a scripting the script file dot sh is a shell script file this file should have execute permissions read write to x x will be the execute permissions okay if uh, the file has execute permissions then only the script only works okay you see let's see dot slash Here we are. Okay, let's see this LS hyphen L. Then permission denied okay you see okay we don't have execute permissions to run this file okay for the changing the permissions chmod plus x x means execute permission i am giving execute permissions to first dot sh script then you can go to the previous command you see first program this is the output of that file you can open that file also first.sh i see i have only the echo statement okay let's do uh, i'm appending some other uh, some other code okay in the inside the script Okay, I'm just I've just added this line to the append appended. Okay. Okay, I have to uh, one echo statement, one uh, touch statement. Okay. I'm just running the file. Okay, the echo is already first program is output is already printed, whereas the touch will create empty file. See the abc dot txt is also empty created empty file okay now i want uh, this first program i want to create a one file and then uh, uh, add this text into there okay you go to va first dot sh press a okay for append create them or you need to gravel get them output.txt escape same colon wq okay what i am doing this uh, first program this will uh, the, this will go to the new file Re uh, greater than operator means simple redirect okay first line this will print into this output.txt double grade then means append 
if you do single grade then it will uh, if any output dot txt file is already exist it will delete all the contents and then it will add whereas double grade then means if the contents already there it will append at the new line okay you can check this one also mm, yeah you see output dot txt file is created and then uh, you can see the contents also first program what if if i run second time at appended what if, if i give only single grade then oh, not this sorry Okay, if I put single grade then now single grade then is there in this uh, you see this one is single grade then whatever the contents. Uh, Okay, suppose in the output.txt there are so many contents. You see cat output.txt. So many contents, okay. Single grade, because of this single grade then, it will delete all the existing contents and then it will add only this whatever the echo statement that is it will have only add that one now i am running this command okay script sh space now you can see the output the text is there i am just opening the file the first program okay all uh, whatever the existing contents it got removed okay with this i have run the cell script in two different ways now just now i run the cell script with dot slash paste this is the first method and then second method is sh space file name these are the two ways to run cell script you can uh, you can run cell script with bash also bash first dot sh even you can run cell script with ksh first dot sh but ksh uh, um, that shell is not there in this place okay if uh, ksh is also there then you can run okay this uh, this is the different ways of uh, running cell script okay from bash terminal you can try using like this whereas dot slash yeah dot slash will work based on this uh, factor i can show you based on c bang c bang is that first line first line this is this is the cell script in this cell script the first line will be the this one if it is bash then the dot slash or whatever it may be entire the other lines of the script will run in this terminal in this uh, shell okay if it is ksh the remaining uh, lines of the code whatever the remaining lines will run on the ksh corner shell bash means bash shell okay the first uh, this c bang this is a c bang line this uh, this only represents the entire script is running on which shell okay this is the main important as uh, as soon as you open unix uh, script you have to first observe which shell it is running okay first line indicates that one if you don't mention anything it will run the default it will run the default you can see the echo dollar shell uh, 
ah, by default shell is bash here if you don't mention anything this uh, this will run if you mention some uh, particular uh, in the c bang line first line here uh, in this script uh, it uh, we did not mention anything sorry cell script is case sensitive as well as space sensitive if you uh, remove some space also it won't work be careful in the scripting cat first dot sh see i didn't mention any c bang line here okay if you don't mention any c bang line whatever the dollar shell is the uh, default is there it will run with this shell only okay okay let's see some more commands in this uh, scripting okay if you see what are the commands till now I, we have run just history command okay okay history greater than i am just uh, redirecting whatever the history into another file you can just to cat history.txt it will display all the contents no, I want to display a line by line, uh, page by page, more. Okay, first uh, 30 lines it will display. If you press uh, space, again th 30 lines it will display. Again, if we press space, again remaining it will display. Okay, more command. Okay. Tail. Tail will be the last 10 lines. Okay, head first 10 lines by default okay i want to display first 15 lines last 15 lines like this it will work Okay, um, whatever the in you know, our uh, Linux Unix to, tutorial commands, those uh, this you can see more examples on this detail and everything. Yeah, AWK. AWK is also a programming language. You can AWK print dollar zero. Then history.txt. Okay. Dollar zero means entire line. Dollar one, dollar two means first to first column, second column. It displayed. Okay. Okay. I want to see only. Dollar two. start with uh, cat then only those lines i want to print you see whatever the cat lines that uh, the uh, i can print that one okay same command you can use grip cat history.txt okay same lines will come okay through awk you can try like that dollar two this is dollar two i want to this is uh, equal to it's equal to cat if the any dollar two line is cat then i am i am printing grep will search every entire line okay if in the entire line wherever the cat is available even in this location cat is there it will print whereas here awk dollar two only this line cat is there then only it prints okay if the cat value is not there and then it is appear here it won't print Okay, suppose uh, something like uh, output I just want to change 
ओके सेवेंटी थ्री सपोज समथिंग इज देयर एंड देन कैट समथिंग इज देयर ओके ओके नाउ आई रन द सेम कमांड ए डब्ल्यू के डॉलर टू दिस लास्ट लाइन इज नॉट प्रिंटिंग वेर एज ग्रेप इट विल प्रिंट लास्ट लाइन ऑल्सो ओके दिस इज द डिफरेंस ए डब्ल्यू के एंड देन ग्रेप इट विल सर्च बाय कॉलम ए डब्ल्यू के वेर एज ग्रेप इट विल सर्च एंटायर लाइन wherever the cat option that cat word is matched okay if i find this uh, nothing but finding a file whether fi file is inside this uh, sub directories directories find dot slash i am checking current directory i have a name Yeah, it is there. If it is not there, first dot txt. It won't display. You can put uh, path full path also instead of dot slash. Dot slash means current directory. Instead of dot slash, I kept this iPhone name. it will print with that you can search from a base directory also from root level where it wherever the first dot uh, sh is there but it will take some time to print this okay it will go through all the files in the operating system files all the device files it will take time i'm just closing this right now i am in this directory i'm just going back to one directory back and then i can search uh, again i can search this find dot slash yeah you see first dot uh, sh is uh, located just place uh, the present in these two locations this is called a final command okay i'm just uh, telling uh, what are the commands that we use frequently uh date command also we used to do frequently in the unix cell scripting i want to change the date format date plus year You see date formats percentile m d y just to quit uh, press q to quit
Hmm. You see date format. I have just changed. Okay. Sorry, this plus symbol should be inside a double quote, single quote. Okay. Some syntax error. You can change the date format something like this. It will print. Okay. This is also single quotes. Okay. Next to 10 days, what is the date? The, you can put plus 10 days, minus 10 days, whatever it may be. Okay. This is called a date command. This uh, date command we use extensively in creating the log files. Okay. Those kind of files. Okay. You'll see how the date command will be helpful in the scripting some particular scenarios of okay creating the log file with the data timestamp okay those things will be helpful you go just uh, go through read next command is read okay read command will take the standard input okay and then on the screen it will store into this variable okay whatever the cell scripting variables it will store in this dollar symbol okay we can uh, get the value using dollar okay dollar with this name okay let's see how it works Okay, enter your first school name A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, suppose this one. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, you entered. Okay, this is the simple script that read, read command is working now. Okay, not only cell script, you can write uh, read. something 
it will ask for something okay and uh, echo dollar str you see that is coming even you can assign some value to the variable mm, suppose k equal to this one how can you access this echo dollar k whether it is integer or uh, string or any kind of thing okay suppose l suppose u equal to 10 how how can i access echo only how can i read that variable echo dollar u till print whether it is a string or variable or anything okay using dollar okay let's see uh, different kinds of variables available after that okay export okay env art uh, system environment variables okay you type env it will print all the environment variables and the environment variable includes shell which shell we are using and then system variables paths okay environment variables whereas uh, windows where can you see environment variables right click my computer properties advanced system settings just environment variables these are called environment variables for windows okay whereas uh, linux or unix this is just to type env it will print all the environment variables okay all these environment variables we can mention it as global variables you can access these environment variables to all the programs okay echo dollar home it will get will get the home deshita okay like this how do echo dollar home okay you can see the output of each environment variable okay i want to add a one variable as an environment variable then how how to add through export only you can update the environment variable you can add a new uh, you can update existing environment variable add new uh, variable also by this cost okay export you can put a caps lock also but uh, something okay you can type env okay it is there somewhere it will be there test underscore where see i see test underscore where in the env okay through export you can add in the add uh, or update in the environment variable okay using export command okay change uh, permissions chmod we just did uh, chmod plus x huh? okay with this uh, we have completed the frequently used commands next session we'll start with uh, uh, actual cell scripting whatever the whatever the 
before writing cell scripting what are the main important things to write the cell scripting okay they are all the main things arrays cell scripting shebang command substitution we'll take uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes break and then we'll start the next session okay